Welcome to C++ with Miyoshi, or Batman, or Miyoshi. Boy, it's a good thing Miyoshi's not really Batman because he would have a heck of a time keeping his secret identity secret. Well, anyway, that might seem a little bit random, but I'm here to talk to you about random numbers, at least as they are uh, on a computer. Don't tell me, buddy, but random numbers are not really random. At least on a computer, they're not. Um, one of the most interesting forms of random numbers is a coin flip. As a matter of fact, one of Batman's, one of my arch nemesis's, is Two Face, who uh, does what he wants to do, but he depends on a coin, a coin flip, whether he's going to do good or evil, and that coin flip kind of determines it. Well, computers, they also create random numbers, and like I said, they're not really random numbers. But random numbers on the computer, what they do is they generate a list of infinite random numbers based on something called a seed. Now a seed, if, if we we're uh, you know in the, in the garden, we would plant a seed and it would grow a flower. Well, a seed in random numbers is just the starting point. It's the what you, um, it's not the starting point necessarily, it's, it's what tells you which random number list to use. Now, a random number list generated by a seed is going to be an infinite list essentially of, of numbers. I used to think that random numbers were uh, numbers between this magical number called randmax, and I never wrote that down then, randmax. I used to think that it was um, numbers between zero and randmax just in some arbitrary order and then you would pick a number from that and we just keep picking and picking and picking. But that's not what happens. Really what happens is there's an algorithm that creates a random number and it just creates this list over and over and over again. And it just keeps going and going and going. Every time you call this uh, the random number generator, it creates another random number. Now, what determines, where you, what determines the list is that seed that in C++, you do SRAN N or SRAN some number and it will generate the same list of random numbers every time. So if I did SRAN 0, it would generate some random number. If I did SRAN of 1, it would do some other random list of numbers. And that list would keep going based on some algorithm. The nice thing about SRAN is that it uh, produces numbers that are fairly random, or, or they seem to be random. What determines a real random number? Well, what determines a real random number is that, like a coin toss, This coin toss does not determine what happens on this coin toss, which does not determine what happens on this coin toss, which does not determine what happens on this coin toss, and oh, so on and so forth. Nothing that happened in the past determines what's going to happen in the future. Well, that can't really be true with a list of random numbers that the computer generated, but they want to make it seem like it is, so that's why they call them pseudo-random numbers or fake random numbers. Now, so that's kind of thing with random numbers. Now here is a um, here is a little code snippet and this is a code snippet that um, first of all you need to have pound include time.h to um, get a random number just a, a, a random random number seed a random seeded random number generator or um, list and we use this sran unsigned time null to get a uh, a different random number seed every time we run the program. If you want the same random number sequence, if you want the same list of random number numbers every time, you just make sure you put the same random number in there in SRAN. So SRAN 0, for instance, will give you the same exact sequence of random numbers every time you run the program. You only run this SRAN one time ever in a program, and then every time you call this function RAND, you'll get the next number in the sequence. Okay, or in the list. So here is a set of random numbers that just gives you zero or one. I do ran modulus two, that will only give me a zero or one, and this will give me random numbers that seem to be um, not dependent on the last one in the, the last random number that was called. So this, if we were, if Two Face didn't have his coin to toss, which I'm sure he would always have that, he could run this program and it would tell him which thing he needed to do. So, um, random numbers. 
Again, they're not really random numbers on a computer, but they're pretty close. Uh, or they're, they're the best approximations that we can do. Um, different algorithms produce different random number sequences. Uh, and if you were doing something important like cryptography or something like that, you probably wouldn't want to use the RAND function that um, C++ gives you. You would want to use some other pretty cool algorithm that somebody's developed that, that makes it so that the random numbers are even more random, not random than what RAND will give you. Um, anyway, random numbers. Just kind of remember that a random number sequence is generated, uh, a, r a random list of numbers is generated when you call SRAND, and then every time you call RAND, you get the next number in that list. And the list um, is your random number. So, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on C++ with Miyoshi, or Batman, or Miyoshi. <laughs>